Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily set up Python 3.9 on Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. So at first, we will see how to download and install Python 3.9. After that, we will see how we can easily download and install Visual Studio Code. Then we will see how we can connect both and run our first Python program on VS Code. So let's first see how to download and install Python 3.9 on Windows 10 64 bit. So to install first we need to download it. Go to your favorite browser. I am using Google Chrome. You can use any browser. Open it. Now type Python. Press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible python.org click on it. On clicking under download section. Just keep the cursor. And on keeping the cursor the current version python 3.9.0 is visible. You need to click on it to download or you can also click here view the full list of downloads. So I'll straight away click here and download the exe file. On clicking in the bottom left you can see the download started. Now we need to wait for few seconds. So here we are installing for 64 bit OS. So we successfully downloaded python 3.9.0. Now click on this arrow click on open to start installing. Let's minimize this. Now guys you can see the installation started. Python 3.9.0 for 64 bit. You can straight away click here or if you need to change the installation path you need to customize the installation click here. But before that do not forget to add Python 3.92 path. Just select this and click on customize installation. Now you can see the optional features are visible. Keep it as default. This will install your test suite as well as the pip. Pip is a Python package. So just keep it as it is and click on next. Now advanced options keep the same. You can install for all users on this system. I'll select this. Now on selecting you can see the path is visible. Under this path Python will get installed. It's under C program files Python 3.9. If you want to change the path click on browse. And from here you can select the path wherein you need to install Python. Now here we will keep the same path. Click on cancel. Here it is the same path. Now click on install. Now the installation started. It will take some seconds. So guys we have successfully installed Python. Setup was successful. Now click on close. Now let's check that we have successfully installed Python or not. Go to start. Type cmd. Right click, run as administrator. Now, guys, CMD is visible. Here, type Python hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here, you can see Python 3.9.0 is visible. That means we have successfully installed it. Minimize this. Now, let's run our first program in Python 3.9.0. Go to start, type Python. Here, you can see IDL is visible. Click on it. This is the Python ID. Now here let's print something. Type print. On pressing bracket you can see the syntax for print method is visible in Python. Here let's add some text. Now just press enter to print this. Here you can see we have printed. Now let's print something else. Now let's press enter and print this as well. So guys we saw how we can easily download and install python 3.9. We also verified the installation. Now let us see how we can download and install Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. Let's begin. So Visual Studio Code is a free source code editor. That is available for Microsoft Windows, Linux as well as Mac OS. It is basically used for building and debugging modern web and cloud applications Because it provides support for debugging, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion, code refactoring. So now let's see how we can download it then we will install it. At first go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here in type Visual Studio Code. Press enter. Now the official website is visible. Code.visualstudio.com. Click on it. The following is the official website. We will also add this link in the description so that you can easily download it. So it has automatically detected that we are downloading for Windows. You can click on the arrow button for other versions. We want for Windows only for x64 that is 64 bit OS. Here you can see. I'll click on it to download. 
now the downloading should start now the downloading started you can see on the left below just wait for a few seconds so guys we have successfully downloaded it the exe file is visible the current version is 1.51 now double click on this minimize so guys the setup started you can read the agreement and click on i accept the agreement then click on next here additional tasks are visible if you want to create a desktop icon select this and you can go for other options as well that is open with code options after right click in windows explorer and other options add to path yes keep the default and click on next now ready to install click on install now the installation started you need to wait for few minutes So guys we have successfully installed the setup we have installed visual studio code the same is visible here you can just click on finish it will automatically launch because the check was automatically selected after installing or you can just unselect this and click on finish so it created the desktop shortcut double click to open So guys here it is we have started with video studio code we can maximize it so here in you can add your project folder from here you can add extensions this is for running any project so guys we have installed video studio code also so let's start video studio code again we can start from the desktop shortcut or we can go to start and type video studio code now click on this or you can also click on open now it will begin so let's say we need to run our python program the easiest way we will see here here in click on open folder go to desktop here in let's say we will create a folder i'll give the name i'll give the name amit python project let's say you can also give a smaller name i'm just uh, adding a random name double click now select folder so we are inside our folder python folder here it is amit python project now let's add a new file right click here or you can also click on this icon new file and let's add a new file i'll give the name demo.py because the extension for python is py i'll just click here and it will create a python file how i knew it because the icon is visible for python so here we will add our python code now you can see you need to install the following extension click on install pylint So we have installed it now let's close this and go to extensions here click on it here type python press enter click on this now you can see it is already installed you just need to click on install here to install now close this now we can also type code runner extension and install it here it is click on install here to install we already installed it so guys close this close this as well now let's go to the file again now let's type a sample code print first python 3.9 program on vs code this is fine this looks fine now go to file and save it and save it now to run it guys what you need to do go to run here in select run and debug 
from here select your python file so guys you can see we successfully ran our first python 3.9 program on vs code in this way so we installed the python extension as well as the code runner extension after that we just went to run and debug and just added our python file so in this way you can easily run a python program that is python 3.9 program on visual studio code on windows 10 if you like the video do subscribe to our channel amit things